everybody and welcome back to Play It Again. I'm Sue. I'm Chelsea. We are so glad you joined us again today. <clears throat> we really appreciate it. We have an artist that we have done one other time before and I'm not going to give you too many hints but we have had a lot of suggestions for this particular artist. So we're finally getting back to this person okay. and um, and I think finally, you're going to person. get it. This is a live version of the song that we're playing as opposed <clears throat> to the studio version. Okay. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to watch a live version. Okay. All right. Okay. So close your eyes. Just okay. uh, play some name that tune. We're going to bring it up and here we go. Yeah. Tell us that what it is. Benny and, the, B -B -B Benny and the Jets by Elton John. Yes. Oh, uh, we have only done Elton John once on the channel, <laughs> and it was with really Kiki D when we did Don't Go Breaking Your Heart. Yeah. This and is and so since we've done that song, oh. and that was a lot of fun watching them do that together. But since then, we have said, hey, why aren't you doing Elton on his own? So I thought we'd go way back to the early 70s for some Benny and the Jets from I, Elton John. I have several favorite Elton John songs but this this tops this tops the charts it really is great I love it and I really like his older stuff it's fun yeah so I love when look at how yeah you dressed up oh yeah it was awesome all right let's all enjoy this together yeah and please don't leave until the end of the video so you can hear my fun fact mm. okay <laughs> We all know that he plays the piano and of course we think you know he's obviously a good piano player but I think we really underestimate how good he actually is because he's such a showman that yeah. just watching him you know you just get caught up in watching well, that's him. why I was so intent on his hands because you you rarely get to see his hands playing a piano yeah like, as you said he's 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 a show from head to toe. He is. I did not mean to, mean to rhyme that, but that was good. That was good, actually. He's a yeah. show from head to Nicely toe. Done. Yeah. Thank Nicely you very much. Done. Yeah, that's good. I like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> One for Charles. <laughs> <laughs> but he is. And, and you're always watching, like, every part of him. Yeah. But it's so nice to have a camera focus on his hands. Yeah. 
hundred percent. God, he's yeah. a good player. He's fantastic. Wow. I'm going to, I'm going to back it up just a teeny bit so that we can hear him go into the singing part again, right okay. after he's done his, his, uh, his, piano. his little piano solo yeah. there. All right, here we go. All right. Here we go. Fantastic. Seventy-four. Good lord. Wow. And you know the funny thing is, is that song, <clears throat> that version of the song, anyway, the live version was almost six minutes long. Mm. It was just like shy of and six it's minutes. Still too short. And it still seemed like it could have gone on it's for another still five too minutes. Short. That is such a song that you just never want to end. Yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah. yeah I absolutely wow. loved that. Fun fact is that he uh, modeled his Elton John modeled his falsetto after Frankie Valli because oh. he was such a huge Frankie Valli fan and he actually saw him when he was younger and he absolutely loved the way that Frankie did his falsetto so he wanted to kind of you know mimic, mimic that so mm -hmm. a number of songs have had him doing his falsetto so I guess he's really you know what's, channeling his inner Frankie Valli. What's that, what's, that, what's that saying? Um, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery? 100% it is. Yeah. yeah 100%. Wow. Now, this version that we heard was a live version from 74. It was in London. But the actual single that was released um, <clears throat> was, it seemed like it was live, but they actually added, the producer added uh, live clapping and, and uh, the crowd's noise from a uh, 1972 a concert at Royal... Uh, Albert was, Hall? Not Royal Albert Hall. Uh, I can't remember exactly the name of the place, but it was it was in it was in uh, the UK, and uh, so that part was actually added on to the song, 
And the whistling from the song that was in the single was also from a live concert, and that was from a concert that was done in Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada. Mm. So they took that, and then he added the clapping and other things to the... Uh, to the actual single because he wanted to make it feel like a live version of the song which is kind of cool because i always assumed that it was a live version yeah so anyway that's that's kind of cool huh it is neat yeah so (laughs) if you'd like to do more elton john just put Mm -hmm. it down in the comments and we would be more than happy to play more elton john we love him we'll be doing more yes okay everybody have a joyful day and we'll see you all again next time bye-bye